Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Claire. And we are Hi Jinx. Jinx. And we are going to try a gin that we first came across almost a year ago. Would you believe? Oh my gosh. Does almost. that mean it's coming up again? I've been having a look. I don't know if it's coming up again this year. Catford Gin Festival. But this it was, was amazing. We had such a good time. We bonded over this. This was one of the. We both had a throwdown over this gin, didn't we? Totes. We both like tried it. Well, like, oh my days. It's called Twelve, 12 Keys. Keys. Um, and, and I have a signed bottle. So do I back at home. Nah, nah, nah. But we're using nah, yours today. Nah, nah. Um, yeah. And they're they're London. They're London based, aren't they? North Sutter or Spirits are in Norfolk, but I feel like there was a London connection to these guys. So like, perhaps I don't know. It was a long time ago, and we had a lot to drink. But that's quite exciting. Yeah. Um, but we tried, and I went. Well, I went, and you go to this. You go to the Catford Gin Festival, and you try everything. You get all the free samples, yeah. and it was so good that it even in the great. midst of the free samples, I was like, I'm paying you for a gin and tonic. Yeah, I paid to drink alcohol when alcohol was being given away for free because this was so good. Well, yeah, because it's one thing just to try it, and it's another thing to actually have it fully made up with the right garnish and all that sort of thing. It was the best five quid I've ever spent. you get to experience it properly. Best five yeah. quid I've ever spent. Yeah. Um, and so now we're going to try it again, and we're going to share our experience with you and remind ourselves of what a delicious gin it is. Please still be delicious. Please still be delicious. It will absolutely still be delicious. Let's have a little sniffy. A little snifter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a splash. Yeah. I just love everything about it. The bottle's good, it's strong. Mm. The corks are, oh, it's a, it's, it's a very beautiful design. It's just, it's a real bottle of gin, this. Really good. Full so we've got butter. fig, we've got caramelized quince, ripe apricot, so it should be too sweet. Rich honey, everything should be sweet, shouldn't it? And yet. Yet, I don't remember it being sweet. And it's not sweet. It's all in like a perfect sort of no. marriage. You've got all the aromatics of all of those things without any of the it's sweetness. It's super dry. It's like you've got, mm. you've got all of the... And then the basil at the end. Yeah. It's like it's got all of the slightly more vegetal or savoury elements of all of the sweet mm. things that are in there. The basil comes through Because quince like a can go train. either way, right? Mm. Quince is, it's again, a, kind of androgynous. Well, it's essentially a fruit, isn't it? So, you know, it can be added with sugar or it can be like... Yeah, but I've never felt, tart, like, I've never felt like quince is super sweet. Well, it's a tart fruit, but people yeah. therefore add loads of sugar to it. Yeah, you're a tart fruit. I am a tart fruit, it's true. Oh, I couldn't fruit. resist. Somebody needs to put a stopper in me. Somebody needs to tell her. Mm. That is nice. Should we right. have ice, ice, so, ice baby? Ice ice baby. So I'll you can talk problems. about the garnish because when we- Will when you we, ice us and I'll, I'll, I'll get a- um... we, So when, 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 when they made these gin and tonics up for us, they sort of presented us these gin and tonics and these disposable um, plastic cups and um, gave us a piece of fig and okay. a coffee bean. Yes. And I was like, what is, I was like what is this? Slightly bizarre sort of yeah. um, combination of botanicals. Yeah. But I just remember being so on board with it at the time. It was honestly, it was one of the highlights of the festival mm. that, 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 that year, wasn't it? Yeah, because a fig also, figs are sort of like, they're quite dry, they're not over, Overtly sweet themselves, um, you know, so they are quite a versatile mm. botanical themselves. And then you they got... go really well with cheese and they, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that might have been good with our fig and goat cheese. Yeah. So and That's then honey and truffle. So what? That's exactly what I was thinking. But then I just remembered that we might not release all of these videos in order, so it might not make sense if I said the video we've just done about honey and truffle. Yeah, but everyone knows that you love like cheese and honey and truffle. Well, yeah, the ultimate clear final mouthful would go well with the fig. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna put us one coffee bean to begin with, and then we can go further if we need you back. Are they strong coffee beans as well? Yes. These are bad boys. These are Hawaiian coffee beans, so they're super punchy. You're super punchy. I am super punchy. Sometimes. So let's just top up the gin a little bit and just try it with the ice and the garnishes. Would you like a little top up? Yeah, why not? Or are you okay? Yeah, go on, hit me. Hit me up. The day that you say that you don't want a little bit more gin, I will take your temperature and be concerned and possibly call an ambulance. Either that or you know I just don't like the gin. Yeah, although you know then I mean? we probably wouldn't make a video about it. Yeah. Or we wouldn't release the video. So. That's true. Cheers. Mm. God, it's so interesting. It's a lot going on, isn't there? Yeah, I love what the fig does. Yeah, the just fig softens is almost the whole like, thing. Yeah. 
it's almost like got a it's got a watery quality to mm. it so, the sweetness and sort of a honeyed caramelized element yeah yeah and then the coffee just gives it that extra you know? It's basically a dark sugar element, effectively. That's what yes. you get from, from fig, isn't it? Yes, right. Let's bung a little a little twenty. Twenty. Do you need more than that? Nah. Nah. You know me, 50-50. Stirring with a knife. You okay, huh? I don't know what's with me today. Should I think, I do the same I think thing? I'm still jet lagged. We want to make sure we're doing the same thing, obviously, you know. Mm. Oh god, that's good. Slightly cloudy, which is good. That's the, that's the oils separating. Yep. Don't be worried about that. I say this to people a lot. Don't worry about it if it goes slightly cloudy. It doesn't mean your gin's dirty or your glass is dirty. It just means it's the oil separating and you've got a high quality product rather than something yeah. that's processed. Exactly. Ooh. It's so well balanced, isn't it? Ooh. It's like you need the coffee kick to cut through the the honeyed sweetness yeah and it just works on so many levels mm. the, the sort like of aromatic the aromatic note of the coffee bean sort of adds quite a lot so the sort of a headiness of it because otherwise yeah. it's quite a lot of sweet even though they're really well balanced quite a lot of sweet botanicals mm. there's a heady quality to it it's just really easy drinking it's just really cleverly put it's 46 percent by the way as well is it yeah oh yeah so it's you know it's, it, you know, it doesn't taste particularly strong you know What's that? That's the film equivalent of a 15, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's not PG. It's not a PG gin. No. So treat it with respect. Like maybe deserves. some swearing and a couple of nude scenes or something. Yeah, like inferred nudity. Inferred yeah. nudity. Um, yeah. But it's just so good. I just know what to say. Because it's the mm. balance of sweetness with vegetal, with aromatics. Um, it's something in it for everybody. 12 keys. That's the keys because they're 12 different botanicals unlocking a symbiosis of brilliance. That's, I think, how they would put it. Yeah. It's a, absolutely, it's stupid absolutely words beautiful. like me. Yeah. So, yeah. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Drink it, buy it, enjoy it. And if the Catford Festi Gin Festival is on this year, which I'm yet to see evidence of, go because it's one it's, of the we're top. Gonna, we're going to do some stalking. It's one of the top. It was gin amazing. Of the year. Yeah. Really, really good because they focused on bringing in, you know, gins that we had not, we had not heard of. We only heard of what one gin there which I'm really impressed by because normally when we go to a festival yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it was amazing but and they, they were all sort of weird in our channel but they were all good there wasn't a bad gin there mm. I don't remember one gin being bad no I remember wanting to go home with everything I tried and having to make a really tough choice it's a bank balance decision isn't it yeah I made that decision to go home with everything I remember that yeah I did I went home with I everything think you did. about seven bottles yeah but you know this was one of them. This was the easiest decision of the lot. Cheers. It's amazing. Cheers.